all right ladies and gents it is your boy the red pill beast and i am back with another moral future fight video but today we're going to be talking about this new serious uniform for sharon rogers the light serious armor <laughs> this name i'm telling you uh first and foremost visually i am not the biggest fan of this new shield for sharon rogers okay i personally preferred the spartan shield i think it looks amazing personally i prefer this outfit she looks more feminine more you know like my taste but it is what it is she's getting a new uniform and she's looking more like a gundam and you know what it's fine a futuristic lancer it's okay she's always been that but it's crazy over time her shield has just gotten bigger and bigger and bigger and you would think with a bigger shield she would have way more survivability and honestly that's not what i'm finding to be the case per se now they did sneak a little bit of survivability in here that they didn't mention in the patch notes and that's why we always have to take the patch notes with a grain of salt because they for some reason even though they added this with this specific uniform this was not the case before they didn't mention this it's like they like to keep us guessing they like to basically have us look like fools by assuming that everything we see in the past notes is 100 percent accurate and then boom out of nowhere nothing what am i talking about in this uniform the only thing they're changing for sharon rogers is the fact that the uniform bonus now offers five percent additional chain hit damage so we're going from 20 percent chain hit right here to 25 percent chain hit okay that's pretty much it the damage reduction is the same and everything else in the uniform for the most part is the same with the exception of this forward skill the forward skill on paper only says it's giving you 45 percent defense down it looks a little bit different than the last one in terms of like the icon and the animation is different now on one hand i like the old forward skill because it's an iframe so when you jump in this iframe, the boss doesn't move or whatever you're targeting doesn't move, means you can't really miss, right? On the other hand though, when you hit your uh, third, your fifth, and then your fourth, if the boss doesn't hit you in the uh, few moments that you take to put up the third and the uh, fifth, then you can miss out entirely on your damage accumulation. And when you hit the third and then you hit the five, that's when you want to get hit so that when you hit the four you do a lot of damage because sharon rogers her damage scales off of her damage accumulation they know this and i guess that's the reason why they did this with the new uniform they actually went ahead and made it so that the forward skill is no longer an iframe on one hand that's really good right it makes it so that she is targetable at all times but on the other hand if you're getting targeted by an attack that penetrates immunity or invincibility you can die now in the fort skill so keep that in mind it's a it's a pro and a con the pro is since you're no longer in an iframe as you can see you can be targeted and if they're hitting you and you're hitting back you're accumulating presuming you put up the uh obviously the four and the five beforehand because she still played the exact same way okay she hasn't changed however there is some survivability here you're not just basically charging in against the boss naked you can see that she does have invincibility for what looks like about four or five seconds it's not listed on the skill and it is a refreshing invincibility buff meaning if you get debuff i believe this will keep coming back until the end of the skill if you notice the icon is flickering i haven't fully tested it yet but when an icon is flickering like this and it's not stationary like for example the immunity here it's just stationary right well it is kind of flickering to be honest <laughs> but you can't remove um immunity right so immunity is a little bit different than invincibility i don't believe you can remove this invincibility but i could be wrong i'm gonna test it out a little bit more and i will come back to you guys if that can be removed then that's gonna be a problem because if um the purifying wind hits you when you're in war boss and strip that invincibility and you're just pumping shots at the boss like that pop 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 um you're gonna get clapped and you're gonna die and then you're gonna really wish you had the uh iframe from the uh forward skill from the old uniform okay so one thing i do want to test here really quickly is the hits the number of hits on the uh new forward skill versus the old one so let's just get one of these clowns one of these fools in a corner presumably away from everybody so nobody else can get hit I want to see. Okay, Sharon, 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 Sharon. Uniform. How many hits we have on this? 
Bop, 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 bop. All right, so 20 hits. Let's just make sure we can confirm that. Pop, pop, pop. 21, hello? Did one of the hits miss last time? Okay, so it looks like it's either 20 or 21 hits. Okay, see, like one rotation, we get 21, and then the next one, we get 20. Like, what the hell? You guys see that? Like, <laughs> I'm doing the exact same thing, but on, on one rotation, I know it's just one hit, but like, I don't know. Anyways, let's see the other uniform. Where is it? Da -da 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 -da. This one. How many hits was on the uh, four skill before? So it's the same number of hits. So for real, all of you guys were saying like, they probably increased the number of hits. That's why they increased the chain hit. Nah, it's the same number of hits. All right. Okay, let me see something here. Let me see if they increase the damage. Not Sorry, not the damage. The number of hits on the tier 3 skill. By the way, they increase the uh, percentage that you gain from the 4 skill by 2%. I'll show you guys what I mean in a second. So let's pop the tier 3 and hit this guy in the corner and see how many hits it actually does with the old uniform versus the new one. So 52. Okay, cool. Let's actually go back to the new uniform. And look, first, for example... It does 14% when you uh, pop the fourth skill. I'll show you what it does when uh, we go back to the old uniform. It was doing, I believe, 12% before per fourth skill. So, let's keep that in mind. Okay, I want to see how many hits we get off the tier 3. Okay? Let's see if it's more hits. I, I don't think there's any more hits, but I just want to confirm. It's not, my, it's not a matter of what you think, it's what you know. Okay, so the hits look like it's exactly the same. Um, let's go ahead and let's get out of here so everything refreshes. Let's go ahead and just pop the four skills. So 14% with the new uniform. And then if you go here, so you can get your tier three a little bit faster with the new uniform, but it's not going to be faster to the extent where you can, um, put it up in like two rotations. It's still going to be like a two and a half, three rotation type of thing. See, it's 12.5% now with the four skill versus the new one, which is a uh, 14.5%. So little bit um more on the four skill just because the cooldown time is a little bit longer so it's 13 seconds here versus this one that was um i believe 11 seconds right so anyways with that being said we're gonna do a bit of a comparison between the two uniforms i do believe that this one does a little bit more damage but is it to the point where you should buy this uniform? I feel like in some situations, you might get more damage out of this uniform than this one, just because of the fact that when you jump in the fourth skill, like I said, you're not accumulating any damage. So if your accumulation isn't already maxed out, then you're missing out on damage versus this one. If you're just on the ground and you can be targeted, where you're soaking up all those hits and you're just pop, 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 shots to the boss, you're getting more damage that way, right? So. Just keep in mind that it's a double-edged sword. Literally, you can take more damage and end up dying, or you can take more damage and end up doing more damage. So we're gonna jump in against Null here really quickly, stage 19. By the way, I did tier three White Fox. I'll give you guys some individual content on her soon, but for now, we're just gonna use this team right here, Monica Rambo, because we get the uh, energy attack lead plus some ignore dodge, and then we have White Fox. Keep in mind that even though White Fox is a very good offensive support, she doesn't give you what some of the other support characters will give you, which is damage reduction, okay? Uh, not right now, Ron. Let me just uh, bang this out right quick, homie. So same rotation. We just basically wait around to get hit. I was hoping that that was going to change. So we're going to wait, 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 wait. Pop, pop. This man did not hit me. He hit me a little bit. All right. Let's just uh, pop up here. I'm pretty sure we can just uh, pop the tier three here and then just like, yeah, game over. Like having White Fox is such a big boost for Sharon, for anybody with leadership, to be honest. Like it's a massive boost. So that null is gonna hit me right now, and then I'm gonna pop, 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 pop shots to the face. Here we go. Come hit me. Jeez. 
Jeez, okay. I don't even know which phase he's in. Oh, he's in the dragon phase. Dragon, dragon. Here comes the dragon. <laughs> I, I thought he was in the other phase. So I could have actually um skipped this thing entirely, unfortunately. But it's fine. Because what I am going to do here is... As soon as he drops down... Just push him in the next phase. And that didn't trigger my proc. So I'm going to run up to the top here. Hopefully accumulate some damage off of him. I did pop the 4 to give me invincibility. And boom. So yeah, pretty fast clear time. Let's jump in with the old uniform and see what it does. I do think I could have been maybe uh, 10 seconds faster. Maybe 15 seconds just because of the fact that we were so close to pushing him down to 7 bars. And I kind of waited because I wanted to build up the tier 3 and whatnot. But it is what it is. Let's jump back in. For any of you guys wondering if White Fox is a good investment, she really is. If you're using characters like Sharon Rogers and the likes that have the leadership tag, believe me, she is. She's going to take your game to the next level. Especially if you didn't boycott and you have the um, the paid uniform. Okay. Yep. We fried him. I wish White Fox gave you like super armor or something. Maybe with her next support uniform. Uh, you can see we did a little bit damage, a little bit less damage there because we jumped into the iframe on the forge skill. Yep. We have to be really, really, really careful because we have no damage reduction. And damage reduction plays a big role up here. And the higher you get, the more... Well, we do, we do have some damage reduction. Not a lot, though. Okay, let's see if we can... Actually, just push him all the way down to seven bars. Nope, we did like two bars less. 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 Ooh, we actually uh managed to get him there, but that might backfire because we're not going to be able to like... Yeah, we're not going to be able to get the tier three. Yeah, and because we don't have invincibility... Mmm... Um, yeah, we're going to have to wait anyways. The time doesn't look much different. Yeah, time doesn't look much different at all. Granted, I did miss out on some time with the last run, but the times were pretty much exactly the same. So, like, I'm going to say this. If you don't have a uniform for Sharon Rogers, probably pick up the new one. If you have this one, maybe you don't need to pick up the new one however just keep in mind this is just the first impressions so the more i play with her the new uniform that is i'm assuming the better i'm gonna get with her just like all the other characters and uniforms before the more you play with them the more you figure out the ins and outs of the character and the better you get with them so we might see a bigger um a gap in the time once we um play with the new uniform for sharon rogers some more but i'm not expecting like a massive difference and if anything the trade-off would be you're losing some survivability because the iframe from the force skill in some cases can be what you need to keep you alive. So it is what it is. I'm definitely thinking that in addition to the invincibility on her force skill for the new uniform, they should have put a heal there as well. Like a refreshing heal would have been top tier. Kind of like the moonstone heal from her third skill. Something like that would have been nice. Alright, so next rotation, we have the tier 3 ready, Mephisto did hit us there, so we broke him. You're definitely going to notice a big difference in your clear speed with Sharon Rogers once you tier 3 White Fox. Like, things that would usually take you uh, 2 tier 3s will start taking you 1 tier 3. Yep. I think you will make a lot of these comparisons with these characters um, faster, which I really like. 
it means I won't have to keep you guys for like so much longer. Okay, so boom. I would really would have liked a, a heal on the new uniform though, but we'll see. We'll see how it does against Mephisto because that's one place where she was kind of like struggling before. Well, not, not struggling to do damage, but just like, you know, like Mephisto is a rather annoying boss to deal with. And I feel like she needed more than less a 10% heal, you know? I was kind of like holding out there to try and proc on the four skill after I got hit, but... Okay. Oh, really? <laughs> okay. Alright, let me... Let me actually... I'll uh, just like pop to your three. Alright, it's over. Game over. I think we could have did that like 10 seconds faster. I just wanted him to hit me. That's the one thing with Sheridan Rogers. You kind of have to play a cat and mouse game. Like you have to like bait the boss into attacking you, but making sure that your um your what's it called it your damage accumulation is up, so you don't um waste that moment. So yeah, sometimes you waste more time trying to line everything up perfectly. But it is what it is, man. Let's jump in with the new uniform and see what it be. All right, boys. Showtime. Let's see if uh, this uniform can just like pop off. Show us something spectacular with the uh, the new forward skill. No, nothing. Okay. Oh, <laughs> we popped them without needing the uh, what you call it? Without needing <laughs> the first tier three. Okay. Ah, uh, if only, if only. You can still see, it's like, she still takes a, a, a ton of damage. And now that I don't have the, um, the iframe from the forge skill, Mephisto is just gonna eat my HP, bro. A lot of damage, though. It's like, you're trading survivability for damage. So take it for what it take it for what it is, bro. Like you could do more damage, you could get stuff done faster, but you could also die faster. Because you don't have that that one iframe that was like such a clutch piece. Um one of the poison, please drop, yeah. One of the poison dropped under my feet. In addition to um one of the blade twisters hitting me. No, that sucked. That sucked. I was hoping that I would accumulate enough damage to uh, just like clap him without needing to deal with this nonsense. All right, so we clapped it. Again, <laughs> you're trading survivability for more damage. Um, with a bigger shield, um, you, you wouldn't expect me to be saying that. I wouldn't expect me to be saying that, but it looks like that's the case, right? Like, at the end of the day, iframe is, like, one of the best things you can have. Like, the, the best way to keep yourself alive is a heal along with invincibility and an iframe. But if I had to pick one, sure, I would prefer a heal every single time. Because, sure, you can jump into an iframe, but the bosses, they have abilities that can bypass all that. But if I'm not going to get a heal, in most cases, I would prefer an iframe. So the fact that they gave me invincibility, which lots of things can go through, like, even the poison can like go through the invincibility right so <laughs> i don't know like it's a good upgrade right in some cases you're gonna find yourself doing more damage but in other cases you might see yourself getting clapped so let me know what you guys think let me know how badly i played sharon rogers this is my first impressions on her is the uniform worth buying uh yes if you didn't have a uniform before or if you were down here if you if you were still playing sharon rogers like this like this like this sure pick it up However, if you were playing her like this, it might be best to wait and see like what the gap ultimately looks like in a couple days, right? No, a couple days not gonna kill you. The uniforms are gonna be on sale for the next like week or so, right? So just, just wait, just wait, okay? Let's see what the gap ultimately looks like and then we'll make a purchase off that. All right, let's, uh, let's talk about something else before we go. Um, I have Luna Snow looking like this legendary uniform right however i am four days away from having enough biometrics to get her uniform to mythic the normal way so i'm gonna wait 
to do like a side by side comparison between the Luna Snow uniforms. What I'm going to do, however, in the meantime, is probably just give you guys a showcase of just this uniform by itself because I don't want to do a comparison with a legendary uniform versus a mythic uniform. But I'm also not, not up for wasting a ticket when I'm so close on the amount of biometrics that I have. And I have like 18 days left on my, uh, what's it called? My subscription. All right. So tell you guys up front, Luna Snow video coming up, but it's not going to be a comparison. All right. Catch you guys. Peace.